so in today's Raw vs Fake episode, I will be giving you some quick tips on how to spot a fake King Snake Gucci polo. I know a lot of people don't always have the money to just go direct to this shop and buy it for full price. And even myself, sometimes I'll go elsewhere just because I can get the same product for a lot less. Obviously, don't disregard the retailers completely as that is still going to be your main source of where you're picking up such items. But what I would say is just make sure you are having a look around online because some of the deals you will find that are out there are crazy and you don't want to miss them. Getting into the details of the Gucci King Snake Polo, we'll first look at the neck labels. Throughout the video, the fake will always be on the left and the real one will be on the right. So in terms of the neck label, you want to check first of all that on the top right and left hand corners, there's red thread connecting the label to the back of the t-shirt. If you look at the real one here, you can see that it correctly has that on both sides. You've then got the Gucci in the middle, made in Italy. And then on the back of that label, you can't see the Gucci. I wouldn't worry too much about this bit. Um, it seems to change. I've seen a lot of products where you can see the Gucci in full letters through the back. And then I've seen others like this one where you can't see it at all. So this is a fake one. Now you can see the red threads on the top left and right are missing. So that's a giveaway straight away. There are a lot of fakes coming out now which do have those red threads in both corners though. So I will be showing you some other tells as well. A lot of the fakes are coming with these extra Gucci tags as well now. Inside the tags you can even see that some of the fakes are now even copying the barcode stickers and these would have come off genuine products so you do have to be really really careful as I keep emphasising. The real tag does look a bit more solid, the print's a bit bolder. And funnily enough, this one doesn't actually have a barcode inside it. Other than that, it doesn't really look like there's going to be too many details on the tags that are going to help you. So we'll leave those alone now and move on to the actual polo shirt. Moving on to the collar of the shirt, here's a quick comparison of the B embroidery. What you want to look at here is that the B has been embroidered very close to the edge of the collar. So this is the real one here, you can see it very close to the edge. If you look at the fake one on the left, you can see it's a lot higher up. The B itself is also different in colour, so the real one's more of a yellow gold, whereas the fake one looks like more of a rose gold. Moving on to the actual snake, you can see that the colour of the real one is slightly different. It's got more of a brighter look to it, and the snake is actually fatter. Now if you are shopping online, I would advise just looking at the B because in terms of the snake, you won't have anything to compare the width to and the colour. So yeah, pay attention to the B is more than anything else on the collar. Here's the other side of the snake now. If we then flip the collar up. So if you do have one in hand and you do want to check its authenticity, then try looking at the inside of the collar. You can see the real one is a bit darker. On the inside, there's a lot more black embroidery than you find on this fake one. So that could help you as well. The next detail you want to look at are the buttons. On the real one, which is on the right here, the GG engraving is a lot deeper. Um, the button is such a small detail though. So again, if you are shopping online, you're going to have to ask for a picture of that specifically. Much like the barcode stickers you'll find on some of the fake Gucci products, the inside labels are also copied directly from the authentic products. And now what you'll find is that a lot of the labels inside fakes are actually really, really close to the authentics. I mean, they're very, very similar all the way through. The only differences you're going to be able to see are quite minor. So for example, the boldness in the print, the alignment, whether it's correctly centered or not. And then the last one is the actual material. Now, obviously, if you don't have the product in hand, you can't touch it. The real ones have a kind of satin um, silk type feel to them. The fakes have tried to replicate that, but it doesn't really have that same feel. So if you do have it in hand and you can touch it, then do check that if you're unsure um, and you've looked at all the other tells as well. As always, I'll be posting side by side pictures onto Instagram at Close Look Official. Make sure you're following me on there. If you found this guide useful, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.